Are you frustrated with plumbing? Me too. Hey, welcome to Containing Luxury. Today we're gonna to be covering a lot of our interior plumbing, but why don't you get out of there and come up and we can actually discuss it. I'm totally not. I'm not about to Hulu. So today we're going to be covering packs. Now there's a lot of different plumbing systems you can do to run your supply lines. There's copper, there's packs, there's CPVC. If you're not a copper person and you don't know how to solder, PAX is going to be the easiest, simplest system for you. And it comes in these big rolls with, that are clearly marked cold and hot, red and blue. So why don't we get to how to connect PAX to something like a shower valve. One! Horrible planning on our part because we should not be framing the roof while we're trying to film the video inside the container. Was that your director's chair? Looking all fancy. What I have in my hand here is pretty much an entire huge roll of supply piping for water. Um, this is half inch, comes in three quarter or half inch, but in something so small like this, we're definitely gonna be using half inch. I can cut it with it's my cutters that magically showed up in my hand. I'm gonna take this cutter, what I can do, and I, I'll link to all these things you can pick up at Home Depot. Literally, that's it. So I'm gonna show you, this is my shower valve we have here. I have one end, if you can see here. This has my PAX connection on it, which I of course just took off. So this PAX connector, which looks like so, is going to thread on to any one of these ports. All of the ports on the valve are labeled, but we'll get into plumbing a shower valve in more detail, but I'm gonna show you just stupid simple how to use PAX 101. So, what I'll do is I'll put pipe tape, virtually. Um, so what you do is you put that on there, wrap around a couple of times. Now you can see white. That's what it would look like before I put the tape on. And this, is, this one's already installed. So installed, before install, right out of the package. What I'll do is just put this guy on here and I'll hand tighten it until it gets to, you know, relatively tight. Put just a couple of turns on it. I don't have to get crazy with it. Now, that is ready to receive our packs. My cold will come in from the left-hand side, so if you're looking at it like this, my cold's gonna come in here, and my hot is gonna come in here, and then this is going up to my shower. When we're building this and we don't have a tub spout, all we have to do is make it look like the tub spout's closed all the time. So what I'm gonna do is install one of these on the bottom, and then, I would put this little cap on here, and then I would take one of these crimp rings, slide it down, take my tool. We can link to this. This is probably the most expensive part about this system right here. Uh, this costs like 60 bucks. And we just connect it on like so. Yep. Don't want to do that right now. You'll see this little indicator light kind of go off as I crimp that. So that means it's good. This tool is going to make your life stupid simple for plumbing. <laughs> so we'll link to where to get this thing. And that is how easy. So with no soldering, I can just, you know, grab these little crimp rings. This is a hundred pack I picked up over at Home Depot. We can take these guys, you slide them on first, you put your fitting on, slide it back up, take your tool, tighten it down, and good to go. That's it. Stupid simple plumbing. And we'll jump ahead and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all installed. Okay, so we officially just time warped ahead to our shower valve installed. This is that plug I was talking about installing. Then you can see we've got our, our shower spout coming out the top of the valve here. This doesn't need to be blue, it could be blue or red because at the point of the coming out of the top of the valve, it's gonna be mixed to whatever temperature you're using. I just had more blue, so I used blue. And then this is gonna run up to our shower head. And then we have a PEX, it's called a dog ear. I don't know why, it's just got two little fins on it that allowed us to screw in our shower head fitting, which is just a half inch female 
that's what pretty much any of your shower arms that are attached to the shower head are gonna screw right into that. And when you do that, you just put some pipe tape and even pipe dope on, on top of that. And then that will thread in. You won't be able to see this fitting when the drywall's up. There'll just be a hole and because this will sit flush or behind inside the wall. So you want to make sure when you can't, when you're doing that blind, you get that thing sealed really well when you screw it in. Get it nice and tight, but not too tight. Now for each individual valve as well, depending on if you're putting drywall, if you were using drywall, it'd be green board. Don't use regular drywall. You have to have mold resistant drywall if you're doing that. Durrock is going to be your next best bet to install over this rather than drywall. In our case, we actually have a prefabbed uh, fiberglass shell that's going in. So we have that dimension figured out for this. So your valve doesn't always just sit on a two by four like this, but you got to read the instructions to say how far back that valve mounts, taking into consideration drywall, dura rock, thin set, tile, whatever it is you're putting there, add all those together. So you make sure your valve isn't too far back or, or too far forward. So that's virtually crash course on plumbing your supply lines as simple as you can make it. PEX we just thought was the simplest, easiest way for a do-it-yourselfer to get it done. We have not covered any of the sewer lines, how we're gonna get the water out, but we're gonna have a separate video because in our case, that can happen at any time because it's all getting done underneath the container. If there's anything we missed, anything you, uh, you need us to make a video about or add in, just hit those comments and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, please. We appreciate it greatly. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. See you then. Dude, this is sketchy. Dude, quick. Hey, Blake, you should throw the toilet off the roof. I'll help you pick up all the shards of porcelain. Stop talking crap. <laughs> Just got that, didn't we? <clears throat> I'm so distracted by the fact I'm sitting on a toilet right now. Chase? <laughs> Were you filming before? Oh, yeah, that's going to be great then. Watson. Bueno?